What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Today I'm going to be trying to get ahead of this mite situation in my isopod bins and um, let's get this started. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the Farmer. On the U-turn when possible. No, we're not U-turning. Hi. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So, first of all, It's 11 o'clock at night and <laughs> here I am wanting to start a project hopefully I can get this done in a few hours and call it but um, what I did is I went to Lowe's I went to Lowe's and got this cheap piece of acrylic and it is 32 by 44 inches and I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it to fit on the shelf so I have somewhere to make so I have somewhere to make my mite paper. So, first thing I need need to do is measure the shelf, get this piece cut down, and then I need to cut out notches. I have to cut notches for this portion here where the rack and the uprights meet. So, I'm going to have to cut that little piece out which probably won't be too much of a big deal but first things first measure I've already measured the rack It's 15 and 3 8 so I measured from here to up there 15 and 3 8 and I'm just gonna make some marks all the way down and then I'm gonna start cutting it with my my cutter there made my marks. Now it's time to start cutting this thing down. My next measurement is going to be length. Now that I have my depth, now I have to measure for length. And my length is 35 and 3 eighths. Next step I need to do is cut out a 1 inch by 1 inch notch in each corner. And I'm trying to decide if I want to manually cut this or if I want to use my rotary tool. I'm going to go ahead and measure and then decide and then cut them out. I've decided to use my rotary tool to cut out these small corners. I'm trying to get this off and snapped off at a good 90 degree corner is going to be difficult to do it by hand. So using the rotary tool is going to make this much easier. I 
I took my moss off of this rack so I can test fit this piece. Moment of truth, guys. Absolutely perfect. All right, very happy. Awesome, this fits. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this second piece for the bottom shelf or for the other shelf I need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, take the paper off, and then I'll show you my next step. I've got both pieces cut, complete, and ready to put in the rack. But y'all, it is Yep. 2.45 a.m. I'm going to turn these lights off, go get in the shower, and go to bed and continue this in the morning. See y'all in the morning. All right, y'all. It's the next day. Time to finish this up. First thing I did was I took some cardboard. What I'm doing is I've got some cardboard laid out on my table here and I have some uh, a leftover piece of the plexiglass and some paper towels here and I'm just going to spray some of this bird stuff here. It's for mites and lice spray for birds. I'm going to spray that paper towel and as I take the isopod cultures I'm going to set them down on that. and. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the plexiglass that I cut out, the large pieces. And I'm going to spray down the paper towel on it, put it on the shelf, and then put the cultures back. And I'm also going to go ahead and feed them too. And I'll be wearing gloves and washing my hands in between so I don't poison the, the cultures themselves. So I don't want that to happen. Soak that. And then when I put the cultures on this, it'll get on the bottom of the bin and also act as a barrier. All right, got those in place. Now I'm gonna, I have my culture stacked up here. Actually, I'm gonna do these guys first and then I'm gonna do the powder oranges, which are way over there in that isolation lid. And I've got paper towel here and I'm gonna, this is how I'm gonna do this. Set that bin there. I'm gonna get, wash my hands first get them some food, get some food in there for them, moisten the bins if they need it, and then put them away. First one up is the Armadillidium vulgari. I'm going to go ahead and moisten all the bins. Food for the springtails and a little knob of this bug burger. Close them up, put them on the rack. I like this. I like I like them all on the rack. That's how I prefer to keep them. So I'm going to go wash my hands again and then 
I'm going to take care of all of those bins there. Those are all of my springtail colonies. And so far, I don't have any mite issues with those guys. So happy about that. And I'm going to keep this piece of cardboard so I can redo the rack as needed. I think what I'll do is respray the paper towel every about once a month. I'll start it off at once a month and see how that does. If that doesn't start to dwindle down the mite numbers, then I'll do it twice a month. And then after that, I'm going to do it every week. And see, <laughs> hopefully this, this does help immensely, I hope. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.